Hey everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to the channel and my craft table. Thanks for spending some time with me. I am going to share with you my most recent Hobby Lobby haul and I thought that it would be really good to go ahead and post this as soon as possible because I got quite a few things on sale. 50% off, 40% off, 90% off, and of course time is of the essence. So let's go ahead and see what the haul brought to my table today. In the paper craft section, which, you know, we love paper crafts, especially those of us who have a Cricut, I got a skinny tumbler. It was $4 regularly and I got it for 99 cents. It does need like just basically a nice little rub down with some rubbing alcohol to clean up the outside. But this skinny little tumbler right here, it is a 16 ounce. This is a great find for a dollar. And of course, some adhesive vinyl will be going on this soon. The other thing I found in the paper craft section was clearance washi tape. This is a really wide washi tape. It's about uh, a little over an inch wide and I got this for a dollar. $3.99, got it for 99 cents. So that is a huge savings. I am so excited about these two because A, I never find washi tape on clearance at Hobby Lobby. So I was really pleased with that. Another find that was on mega clearance was the Spring Shop. Now I don't know about your local Hobby Lobby, but my local Hobby Lobby has all of the Spring Shop stuff that is left. And I know that's not very much right now, but check it out because 90% off. So I got these car coasters. So these car coasters, they were originally $3.99 and I got 90% off. So these right here were 80 cents. That's, that's a great deal. Okay. So super excited. So they were $3.99 and I got both of them for 80 cents. That makes them 40 cents a piece. That is a huge savings. The other, let's see, the other section I went to was what I would consider like a clearance section. I've actually never noticed that Hobby Lobby had like a little tiny section in the back of my store that had really big signs, really big signs <laughs> that say clearance above them. And they just have a variety of things that they are trying to clear out of their stash. So I just happened to notice that this time and I don't know why I've never seen it before but I got some cute little finds. So I got a couple of these. These these are technically from the gift department. I would have called them home decor, but I guess they were considered the gift department. And so these were $2.29 a piece and I got them for $1.14. So I got a couple of these. These would be great to, you know, refinish the front with some chalk paint and then I got like cute little decor or gifts. So I got two of those. And then I got two of these. Aren't these so cute? Now these are not food safe. In fact, they even say on the back, not food safe. But this is also considered the gift category. They were $4.49 regularly and I got them for, let's see, $2.24. And how cute are these? These little like cutting board decor things. So I got the only two that they had and I cannot wait to craft with those. So that was the paper crafts, the spring shop. Oh, and I did have one more gift. So my daughter wanted um, a new uh, little pop socket for her phone. And I mean, she's had so many, like, you know, they're $16, $20 a piece. But anyway, I found these up near the front in one of their little four-way um, uh, little display things that they have. And this was $3.49. So this is also considered part of that gift category. Anyway, I took a picture, sent it to her. She was like, yes, bring it home. So I thought that would be a cute little back to school pop socket for her, for her phone. All right, let's move on to the um, part of the store that has like the art stuff and uh, home decor and then moving into Christmas and wood and all of that. 
So on my way from the front of the store to the back of the store, I, you know, you're going past all that home decor and I literally, I could just spend my entire paycheck and not blink twice, but obviously I can't do that. So I did find this. This is in the home decor section and it is just a sweet, super light pink and cream check um, little light switch plate. Gosh, I couldn't even think about what it was, but it's a light switch plate and it's just, you know, made out of the same MDF that a lot of the home decor is. And this was $1.99. So I thought this would be a super sweet addition to my daughter's room. She's kind of, um, you know, she's a teenager. She's going on 21. And so this is kind of her vibe, you know, kind of that muted boho groovy kind of stuff um but again it depends on the day so this was a great find for $1.99 and they had quite a few different styles and colors so there was that traveling on to the back I went by the jewelry section and um I saw this now this is like a fit they call it let's see it's called clear flower film wow that's real descriptive but I think it's basically it's either like a sticker or a rub-on I haven't opened it to see really what it is but when I saw this I just thought wow card making possibilities just such a beautiful thing and I did pay um, only half so this was 50% off jewelry was 50% off so I did not pay $349 I think I paid $1.74 for this so great find so so far in my haul the only two things that I have paid full price for were these the other thing that I did pay, pay full price for are some uh, Art Master's Touch alcohol markers. So you guys have seen on my channel before where I have um, done some alcohol marker testing with some stamping ink and to see which play nice together. But I don't have an orange. In all of the markers that I have, I don't have orange. So I just picked up an orange and a light orange and these are great they have a brush tip on one end and then they have the wedge tip on the other end and these are really nice alcohol markers these were not on sale so those i did pay full price for oh, they're 2.99 a piece but uh if you are trying to get into alcohol marker territory um let me give you frame of reference uh, one copic marker can run you you know six seven eight bucks and then the packages of Copic markers are like 40 something so if you want to try out alcohol markers and you've never done them before I really like these Hobby Lobby markers for dipping your toe into that pool and giving it a try without having so much of a huge investment so really important just that way you can try it out see if it's for you and still save a little bit of money. So the next section that I went to was the Christmas section. And I'm telling you, I could have spent probably hours looking at every single little Christmas thing that they had. So some of the things that I picked up are, I wanted to pick up these, these are ornaments. So they're acrylic and I'm not sure why there's glitter all in the package, but uh, okay. So, anyway, so this is a package of 10 three and a half uh, inch diameter acrylic rounds, and I got them for $3.99, half off. So, with the Christmas stuff right now, everything is 50% off. So, these were not $3.99, they were half of that. So, way cool 10 ornaments for less than that. Then I saw this. Guys, this is four little wood Christmas trees, and they do have like a little jute string on them, but these are a four by six size wooden Christmas tree, and they come in a package. They are $2.49 a piece. This to me said Christmas sign, so I'm excited to turn this into a craft here on the channel. The other thing that I found to go with the Christmas trees possibly are these really sweet now these were 
Um, Christmas paper crafts. These are like little sticker snowflakes. And I thought that they were super cute. $2.99, but again, half off of that. And this came in a package of 20. The original packages that I had picked up only had nine little snowflakes each, and they were $2.99 a piece. And then I just kind of kept wondering, and then I saw this package here, all 20 for $2.99, but half off of that. So what a steal. Now these, I am super excited. I haven't quite decided exactly what I'm gonna do with these, but you know, for again, half of $2.99, and there's 12 of them, these had just add to cart. These, they were so cute. I just, I think they're just so cute. I've actually never seen anything like that before. So new to me. And then I absolutely love this huge snowflake. Now this snowflake was $1.99 and it is approximately, well, it's telling me that it's um, almost six by five and a half if you were to take the square dimensions of this, but it's really thick. And this, I think I need to go back and get some more of these. So I think there's gonna be another Hobby Lobby shopping trip in my future very shortly because the Christmas stuff was on, you know, 50% off and I really actually didn't even get to go through all of it, but oh, this was great. And then check these out. They're little Christmas stockings. Aren't those so cute? So this was not $4.99, again, half off, but look at these little stockings. They have a little button, um, like a little button berry thing, and then the little leaves, and they're made out of canvas with a little thing. I don't know what I'm doing with these either, but this is definitely coming to the channel in a craft. I cannot wait. Okay, so once I was able to get away from the Christmas part, I went to what's called the wearable art section. Now the wearable art section, it's where you're gonna find like your bags and your t-shirts and your hats and anything for your hair, your patches, like all that kind of stuff. So um, I found, this was not on sale, this was $3.99. And my daughter is doing sports like a lot of them and she is always needing stuff for her hair. So I happened to see these, snapped a picture, sent it to her and she was like, yes, please. So these definitely went in the cart and here's a funny story. So I to snap a picture of these, send it to her. I literally walk around the corner and went to the Christmas section. And within probably a minute, to two minutes she texted me back that she did like them and she want like I you know sent a picture of the whole display and then she told me the one she wanted right so I went right back right back around I literally turned around it wasn't even 10 feet y'all the whole display was empty like nothing I really kind of panicked because here it was sending this picture to my daughter and I was like which one do you want she sends me a picture back and I go around the corner and they're gone. So I kind of panicked. Anyway, I went around the corner to see if maybe I was on the wrong aisle. And I see, of course, you know, the, the Hobby Lobby employee, they had their little cart there. They were doing a, you know, a display. And I, I looked in the cart because there was a bunch of bows and stuff. And they had clearance tags on them. And I kind of peeked in there and they weren't part of the clearance bows so I was like well where did they go I just was here lucky for me the Hobby Lobby employee she was so helpful today in multiple occasions but she was coming back down the aisle and I asked her it's like hey on the other aisle there were these little clips and hair things and she said I literally just walked those to the front so she told me where I could find them up at the front by the registers and I was so thankful because I I really wanted to get these um, for my daughter and I didn't want to, uh, you know, I didn't want to leave empty handed, handed, but it was just, it was just such a funny story that one minute they were there and literally 60 to 90 seconds later, they were completely gone. And thank goodness I asked because they had just been relocated. Um, in the wearable art section, um, dip, depending on the style and the color, the iron-on patches were on clearance as well. So normally these are 
$1.99 a piece and I got these for 49 cents. And I'm kind of wondering if maybe I should go back and get some more letters so I could even make some word stuff and not just initials. And then this was cool. So these are satin covered headbands. It's a set of four and I got these for $1.24. They were regularly $4.99. Can you just can you just imagine like right now either some um, sublimation or even just iron on vinyl? This could be such a cute little craft. So I'm excited about these here, and then of course the bags. So um, I love all the little zipper pouches. So this is a seven by four bag, four ninety nine cents. Nice little zipper canvas bag, pretty substantial. And there is another one here, eight and a half by six, and this is also 99 cents. Now something about these bags, these are canvas, it says 100% cotton. So these are not for sublimation. Now I will tell you that I have done plenty of canvas crafts, um, especially bags, using Cricut Infusible Ink. Um, some of them do amazing and depending on how you use it and how long you have it, they, they look fantastic. And then others, it kind of fades over time. It's not as brilliant as it was when it was first done, but I have done that. I just dis disclaimer, uh, try that craft at your, <laughs> at your own risk, but, um, I love them. And then you could always glitter adhesive vinyl is the bomb on those this one is a hundred a dollar 49 and again 100 percent cotton but look this has a two-tone and it's more substantial like the bottom is wide so this is i've never seen one of these so i was excited then i just got a plain black one. So I've got a regular canvas bag and then I found one that was black and I haven't done anything on black yet so I thought maybe some white glitter would be amazing. And then of course I found another one that was pretty, I mean this is, this one is really huge. It is just canvas zipper pouch large and it's just like the others. It's just really really big. And something that I've been eyeing for a while, this one is $3.99. So this is a canvas bag. So this canvas bag, really substantial. This is what it looks like on the inside. But you know what's fun? Is you got this kind of, so you got this kind of canvas and then, or I guess it's maybe burlap, I don't know. Canvas, burlap, whatever. Anyway, this is canvas and it's Velcro. So I can, you know, I can use this. I may use this bag for my um, stuff from my college class. I haven't decided. Um, I have a class, I have a bag that I use back and forth between my high school classes. So this one might be my college bag, we'll see. And then my final stop was the unfinished wood. And right now, unfinished wood anything above a certain amount so I believe it's anything above $4.99 so it has to be above a certain amount so look at the tag or uh, the signs when you go to Hobby Lobby but those will be 40% off so I found this particular sign right here I love it this is a um, this is a 10 8 by 10 and I like that it's kind of already finished a little bit and it's got this darker wood stain and then of course this right here. So this is definitely, mm, yeah, fall crafting, either fall, Thanksgiving, Halloween, something. And then these guys here, this is actually, this right here, this is why I went to Hobby Lobby to begin with. So right here. So right here, this, these are the 14 inch rounds. So I have some that are small, like these little 10 inch rounds, but these are the 14 inch rounds and they're thick. Look at those, but they're three to a package. They're $11.99. So 40% off that. I think I, I paid $7.19 for these. And that's great because there is fall, Halloween, and Christmas door decoration that needs to be happening. So. Anyway, that was my huge Hobby Lobby haul. Well, I say huge, huge for me. So 
So I wanted to share that with you today. So just remember that Christmas is 50% off. Spring Shop, if there's still some left in your store, is 90% off. And then the Woodcrafts were 40% off as long as they're above a certain amount. The unfinished wood, the jewelry making stuff is all 50% off too. So run to your Hobby Lobby and check out your local store and what it what they have there for you and you know happy shopping so that you can come back home and then have some happy crafting time. Thanks again for sharing your time with me. I hope that you enjoyed the haul and I am so excited about bringing a lot of these crafts to the channel and more. So I will see you soon and until I see you again in the next video, as always, happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.